It's broad daylight wasn't enough to stop two guys from pulling a gun on a senior citizen and robbing him. Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl in Pontiac now with more on the how the armed robbery played out. Detectives are working to track down these two thieves. They think the guys may have followed the elderly man to his home. As he got out of his car and was heading up to the door, that's when one of the men approached him and demanded his money. And I felt kind of bad because I wasn't there to protect him. Brianna may only be 19, but she's very protective of her grandfather. She lost a little faith in humanity when she found out he was robbed. We're not using her last name to help protect her grandfather's identity. People are sick. And they're very horrible for doing that to an elderly man. It was just before noon Friday. The 83-year-old longtime Pontiac resident was out running a few errands. He stopped by the credit union, then the Sunoco gas station. Just as he returned home, two guys came out of nowhere. They rushed him. And it was like, and they showed him his gun and was like, what you got for me, basically? And that's what he told me, and don't make any noise. You can't be messing with old people like that. It's kind of weak, if you ask me. Joe Foster recently moved to the same Pontiac neighborhood. You got to circle the block a few times before you come home so they don't know where you're at. And... The thieves got away with the senior citizen's wallet, which had around $800 in it. Detectives are reviewing security video from the credit union and the gas station to see if the crooks were caught on tape praying for a victim. What if he was been shot? I would not have my grandpa here with me, which sucks. And he's everything for me. In an instant, he could have been gone. The elderly victim didn't want to go on camera with us, but he did tell me that one of the suspects was wearing a mask. They were seen leaving the area in a red Chevrolet Cavalier. If you know anything about them that can get them locked up, give the Oakland County Sheriff's Department a call. In Pontiac, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.